Hello and welcome everyone. Today I have something very exciting for you. I got the crystal light now for a couple of weeks and my biggest concern is the cable. Um, I'm a big fan of the FOC, the fiber optics cable, which is uh, six meters long, very thin and only has one USB and one display port. Um, the normal crystal light cable has only five meters and this is for me it is a little bit too short because I have a huge play space and here is my uh, racing rig so yeah I would love to extend the cable for at least one meter and I achieved that with a, a, a cable adapter so I will show you in the next couple of minutes how to achieve that so stay tuned all right, what have I bought? The Cable Matters DisplayPort repeater, it's an active repeater. Then I bought the 2 meter DisplayPort cable, also from Cable Matters. And a an USB 3.2 extension cable. Like I said, the DisplayPort repeater need a power source. You can use your cell phone charger and just plug it in and the light should go on. So you're good to go. Here you can see the normal length of the crystal light cable. It is almost five meters long. And in my case, my PC is under the desk and I need almost one meter to get the, the cable from uh, out, uh, out from under the, the table. So I'm losing one meter only to achieve that and that's not so good. And now with the cable adapter and the extender, I'm getting seven meters. So I'm almost in my kitchen with my <laughs> VR device. So this is very cool. Look at this. It is such a game changer for me. And here you can see when the crystal with the extender cable is plugged in, I'm also having like a really, really good amount of cable length here. Now I'll show you the crystal light plugged into my PC with the cable matters repeater and to show you that it's 100% true I'm opening Pimax VR now, the Pimax Play software and you can see it is connecting immediately. Right now I'm switching from 90 Hertz to 72 Hertz. Also here, obviously the crystal disconnects and then connects again. This is uh, normal when you switch from 72 to 90 or, or from 90 to 72. And again, device is connected, so far so good. Then I'm starting the lighthouse. And you can see the lighthouse is also working immediately. System has changed to lighthouse base station mode. You can see one of the base stations is tracking the HMD, now two. And if I switch back to inside out, no, I start Steam VR now. Yes. So Steam VR should open right now and you should see the screen mirror. Yes. And now you see the screen mirror on my uh, monitor. And yeah, you can see the crystal here. This is working fine. 
and now I'm changing back on the fly from Lighthouse to Inside Out Tracking and look at this, it is seamless. So this is fantastic. You can switch from, from Inside Out to Lighthouse. There you see the controllers are tracking fine. So I really like it. And back to Lighthouse. Okay, detecting Lighthouse faceplate and Tracking is here. I just have to um, put on, or, or yeah, I have to to switch on the proximity sensor, and yeah, this is working so great. And yeah, I had my camera here. And now I'm switching to. I guess to 120 hertz mode and I have to say it is working with 120 hertz and the full native resolution but I had one or two crashes. I don't know if it's because of the extension cable but you can see it is working and maybe I don't know maybe it's a software issue or but it is working. So bear in mind this is not an official Pimax uh, solution to extend your cable. It's just I tried it and for me it is working. So on my PC it is working. Hopefully it is working uh, on your PC but this is not a solution. Again this is not a solution from Pimax. This is my own solution. For me it is working and yeah I hope the I hope it's working with your PC and yeah let me know if it's if it's uh, working if it's not working just uh, write in the comments and yeah thanks for watching and goodbye